welcome. Sometimes you'll find a plant that's been disconnected from its roots and uh, it could be from various reasons. Usually it's a cutworm that's eaten through the stem and separated the plant from its roots. Other times it's uh, other insects or hail or some other type of traumatic experience that's happened to your plant. So when you find a plant like that, don't give up on it. Um, as soon as you find it, when it's uh, you know it's probably going to be all wilted don't give up on it don't think it's dead do try to reroot it you might be able to grow another set of roots on it so here are two plants I found um, I found this pepper laying at a 45 degree angle in the soil about a week and a half ago and I thought wow what happened to this and um, I realized pretty quickly it was probably the result of a cutworm so a cutworm had eaten through the stem and separated it from its roots so um, if you do find a plant like this, um, look around right away. Push around in the soil, in the top one half inch of soil. Usually that cutworm is still going to be there and you can get rid of them then. So, and then I found this uh, melon plant um, a few days later. And um, so um, as soon as I found them, I put them in just a clear glass of water, just regular tap water will do. And, uh, and then I set them in a place that gets bright, indirect light, like a north patio. And then just watch and see if they reroot. Many times they will reroot, and you'll get, uh, you'll save your plant, and it'll have a second life. Also, be sure to change the water. Anytime the water gets cloudy, uh, change it. Make sure it has clear, clear, clean water. That will help it root better. So once it develops a good set of roots like this, either one of these is ready to be planted back in the garden and then your plant will grow again.